Hey there, my fellow Indians. Welcome to News Hamster. So you must have observed in the recent times that you're paying slightly a higher price for the goods and commodities that you've been buying. You must have observed that news reports are coming out that the inflation rate in India has shot up to seven and eight percent. You must have been thinking twice before buying non-essential items or luxury items, for example, a phone or even a car. This phenomena is called as inflation. In this video, we are going to talk about what exactly is inflation. what causes inflation what are the effects of inflation and of course we'll understand why you and me as a common man need to know about this concept so stay tuned with me until the video ends and if you're not subscribed to news hamster do it already so let's understand the basic concept that is here which is called as inflation or what we call as mehngai so this concept is important for everybody to understand be it a common man be it a millionaire or even someone who is living by the roadside because all of our lives are affected because of inflation now what exactly is inflation coming to common terms here is a biscuit packet now this biscuit packet last year 2021 costed me about 10 rupees but in 2022 this biscuit packet will cost me about 15 rupees So the inflation of this biscuit packet was about fifty percent because I paid five rupees more on this particular packet. So when the price of a commodity or a good increases, we simply call it inflation. But the nitty gritties here are about the rates of inflation and what causes it. So if you look at inflation in general, we have to understand that it's not just the biscuit packet that affects, or you could say. it's counted to take an account of the inflation in the entire economic system goods and commodities are divided into different categories for example food that is fruits and vegetables then there are uh, petroleum and edible oils then there is you could say electronic items so in this way the goods are divided so that the inflation rate can be understood now you talk about inflation rate it is usually picked up with the help of two indices one is the consumer price index and the other is the wholesale price index now when you say the consumer price index we have to understand the word consumer here you and i are consumers and this index looks at inflation from the point of view of the consumer that is a common man who is buying a biscuit packet alone for himself and his family on the other hand there is the wholesale price index which calculates inflation from the point of view of wholesalers who sell you could say 100 biscuit packets in a day 200 biscuit packets in a day so on and so forth with the help of these two the idea of inflation is calculated now we have to understand that these indices divide the products in different categories with the help of which they bring out the exact rate now for that they have a something called as base year now for cpi and wpi you have the base year as 2011 and 12 so let's say you paid about Ten uh, rupees for that biscuit packet in 2011 and 12. What you pay now is the inflation rate. That means the increase in the price of the product is exactly the inflation rate. So if it's about seven to eight percent according to the reports, that means you are paying seven to eight percent higher amount of money on the products that you are buying in comparison to what you bought in 2011 and 12. and now it has increased this is not exactly the ideal inflation rate for the indian economic system because there is a particular standard it's it's not very good for the economy if the inflation rate is very low because it causes its own kind of an implications it's not good for the economy if the inflation rate is extremely high because it has its own kind of implication which i will tell you about but it is very very important that the inflation rate is maintained in a particular standard level so that the affordability and the circulation of money is balanced in an economic system so inflation as a problem has affected many governments previously if you see before coming to power the 2014 election the modi government the major agenda for the modi government was mehngai because the upa government failed to control the mehngai in the economy and now in 2022 we are back to square one looking at the same kind of inflation rate now we don't just have the modi government to blame we have several factors that have contributed to this particular problem now before going into what has caused inflation to become so high in india let's understand what will be the implications of 
the fact that inflation will go to a lower level. So now we have to understand what the role of RBI is and what the role of the government is. Now RBI always has a very very important role to play because RBI can control inflation, it can decrease and it can increase inflation when it sees a circumstance. Now it does that using the tool of interest rates. RBI has a very simple and a very complex mechanism at the same time because when the spending of the common people increases which might lead to higher and higher rates of inflation, RBI increases the interest rate so that the spending is contained. Now when inflation is going lower, it reduces the interest rate so that spending can be increased. So the people's spending is somehow related to the interest rates of the economy. At the same time, it is also affecting the inflation. So when you say that the economy is facing disinflation or when the uh, inflation rates are down, why does it affect the economy? It's simply because when the prices are going down, people hold themselves from buying anything. They will feel that tomorrow the price will be lower, next month the price will be lower. So they don't spend at all. This causes a hurt to the economic system. So disinflation is also very bad. At the same time, hyperinflation is also very bad because when there is hyperinflation, people refrain from spending money. These are the major implications of hyperinflation. We are not exactly experiencing hyperinflation, but the higher rates of inflation have affected the consumer spending. Now, primarily what happens is that the common people who are the middle class, they get affected because of this. They are not ready to spend more amount of money because they feel it's a lot of money. At the same time, uh, when you talk about luxury items like a phone or a car or whatever it is, they've stopped buying all of these luxury items because currently the prices are high, tomorrow the prices can go low. That's when the luxury items and non-essential items, their markets tend to crash and the people working in that business or they are employed there, they also get affected because of this setup. Now, these are the two major implications, but the common man is the most hurt because the common man is not able to spend more and more money because his income is somehow, you could say, balanced or is somehow accustomed to his expenditure but some when suddenly the expenditure increases and income remains stagnant stagnant the common man suffers an issue over here apart from that when you talk about other implications of increased rate of inflation one can be stock market crash which has been experienced many times before that uh, stock market has crashed due to inflation and has affected many things and if, uh, if you're aware stock market crash is not a good thing for the economic setup apart from that many companies that have a valuation in million dollars and billion dollars it also falls down due to higher inflation rate all of this affects the economic system and at the same time affects the government policies and government spending and of course the government taxation but the question arises why are we here in the first place why is the inflation rate high in the indian economy right now we have two reasons here one is the covid 19 pandemic now covid 19 pandemic was a massive disaster because this pandemic resulted in uh, bringing bottlenecks in supply chains and not just for commodities like foods and others but the most important petroleum edible oils were all suffering major setbacks because the ships and the uh, cargo airways could not travel from one country to another moreover one city to another also we could not travel as a result the supply chains have been badly affected we have to understand that essential items and non-essential items have also been very much affected and that is the reason why due to lack of supply the prices increase the basic law of economics when there is low supply the price usually increases because people want more of that particular product that they want to consume now apart from that we have to understand oil prices that is petroleum and edible price edible oil prices have been the most affected because uh, we are paying double the prices now the government has uh, increased the taxes on it because the government is also paying a lot of money now if you want to understand why are we paying so much amount of taxes on petroleum click on the link above you will find out in that video where we have explained very very clearly the reason behind it now apart from this these two reasons covid 19 pandemic now it's not just affected india rather it's it's affected the entire world where uh, World Bank has predicted that soon we can enter a global recession that will affect all economies equally, especially the economies that have been hurt due to the pandemic. Now, the next and the most important scenario is how RBI balanced with its interest rates 
in the time of the pandemic. Now, when COVID-19 was on, the lockdown was on, the inflation rate, obvious reasons, it went down. We were suffering some what you call as disinflation because people wouldn't go out of the house, they wouldn't buy anything. So obviously, they would not have the kind of, you could say, balanced economic system at that point in time. But after that, RBI had a very crucial role to play. They were supposed to increase the interest rates, which they had decreased during the time of the uh, COVID-19 pandemic and the lockdown, but RBI continued to lower its inflation rate. And due to two consecutive lowering of the interest rate, the inflation rate has shot up now and it has become a very unbalanced kind of a scenario where people are uh, suffering from paying a lot of money to different commodities and goods. Now here we have different things to understand that RBI again has a very very crucial role to play. If they can balance out the interest rate and the government spending in the proper manner, they'll be able to control the inflation sooner. And when the inflation is controlled, the kind of economic balance will be coming back into the system and people will be able to spend on the commodities in the right regard. Soon we are also going to witness a global recession as the World Bank has predicted, but we have to ensure that this kind of a scenario is not witnessed and the economic systems are able to balance this out completely. So to say India is in a very good position in comparison to countries like Venezuela where people have been witnessing inflation rate of about 4000% compared to what they were paying previously. But inflation also has a very very important role to play in politics because several governments not just in India but across the world have lost their regime, have lost their power because Mengai was an important concept for the people to vote. But according to a survey in 2019 4% or less people said that for them, Mengai or consumer inflation was not a problem. Are you falling inside that bracket or are you away from the bracket? Do write those in the comment section. That's for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned to News Hamster.